Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo ThinkPad T460S. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your internal batteries. Before getting going, remember the video description below. I do answer all comments at least twice a day, but I also try to keep the frequently asked questions updated as time goes on. That may be able to save you some time waiting for an answer if you need one. I'll also have a section in the description on related links that should help you out with some other things that may be useful in your computer use. Okay, so to start the procedure, power down your computer the correct way, make sure it's off and unplugged from the charger. We're then gonna flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Okay, so I have these three screws up top, these two screws here, and that's your keyboard screw. That's a switch that releases your keyboard if that's all you're after. So I'm gonna go across and take all these screws out. Okay, so all my screws are unscrewed. However, they do have washers inside of them that hold them in place, so you're not gonna get them completely out. And I've set my keyboard screw to open. And now the bottom case is, is released. So I'm gonna take my small flat head pry tool, go across the seam, and pop this bottom case off. Now this has been taken off once before, so you may have a harder time than that, but it does come off fairly easily. There's no, uh, there's nothing attached to the bottom case. It's, it's just the panel. After removing your bottom case, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on this anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you guys need any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any of these replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, and I will have a list of all the tools and supplies, again, as well as the replacement and upgrade parts for this model in that one list. In this computer, we have two batteries. The main computer battery screws in there and there, plugs into the motherboard right here underneath this tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out those screws. And then it's held down underneath these two clips right there. So I'm gonna pop this up out of that port and then slide it out from under those two clips and there's your battery. If you wanted the battery specs, I will have them below in the description. This is a Lenovo brand name battery, 11.4 uh, volt, 24 watt hour. And again, I, I will have the part number and those specs below in the description. I'll also have a replacement battery included in that link below that I told you about with all the replacement parts. This battery is very similar. It's held in by these two clips there, these two screws here, and it plugs into the motherboard there similar to that one. So I'll go ahead and I'll take these screws out. And then I'll lift it up from this plug and slide it out from those clips. And I'll have this replacement battery specs below in the description as well. So that's the video. That's how you would access both batteries. Again, all the battery information will be below in the description. I'll also include the replacement batteries in the link with all the tools and replacement and upgrade parts for this model below in the description as well. Uh, last shout out with this type of operation. If you're here because your computer's not powering on, if it's dead, uh, showing very little or no signs of life and you're trying to troubleshoot that, it is possible your battery's bad and needs to be replaced. However, in most cases, even with a bad battery, a computer should still turn on and work with the charger plugged in. So if you're not seeing that, there may be something else other than just a bad battery. There will be a video link above, also below in the description, showing you how to troubleshoot a dead laptop computer to find out why it's not turning on. I'll also include that as the end video when this one is done playing. So as usual, please remember to like if this video is helpful. Consider subscribing if you enjoy DIY computer tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.